forever. Dog. Look, man. There. Oh, I see. Wow. Oh, my. Bowen, look over there. Wow, is that Ooh, culture? Uh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah. Las Culturistas. Ding dong, Las Culturistas calling. Here's the actual tea. Okay. Yesterday, mm. I was at my beloved family's home. Beloved. Ugh, and my mother had made her food. And we were eating the food and I ate it a little too fast. And does this ever happen to you <laughs> where it goes down the wrong pipe, but it doesn't like, you, it goes into your sinuses? Oh, no. Yeah, there, yeah, that's horrible. It's the worst feeling. There is a meatball in my brain. Currently. Right now. And it. I woke up and I thought, surely it will have passed. There is a piece of food in my sinuses and I I'm starting to feel sick. Okay, here's what you do. You're gonna go to you're gonna go to your CVS. You're gonna buy a neti pot. Not a neti pot. I mean, it's functionally, it's the same idea, but just the one of those like saline rinses. Okay. You gotta flush that out. Oh my god, it feels Matt. insane. You have a meatball brain. Once I ever tell you the story about the one time I ate McDonald's too fast in high school, and then fries came out of my nose. Oh no. Okay. This is what. I mean, that's the whole story. That's the whole story. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But listen, Matt, you gotta be careful. I have to be I, careful when you're eating. It's actually you know rule of culture number 16. You, you gotta, gotta be, be careful, careful when, when you're, you're eating. eating. I used to have the worst habit of not chewing my food completely and then swallowing it and then it getting stuck. Ooh. And I had to... What I, do you think that's about? It's Oh, it's about... um like me, What is it spiritually? It's about the cultural ergonomics. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a very Chinese thing. It's to a very just immigrant rush narrative. Through. It's an immigrant narrative. Yeah. And I was bent over the Costco hot. bathroom First stall. First of all, can we just say hot? <laughs> hot, bent over. So fucking hot. Agape. Oh, and, oh my God. But I had Literally a, hot. I had like a two inch piece of hot dog stuck in my esophagus for about four hours and I was just in Costco trying to wash it down and my parents just being like, what did we do to, how did this happen? What did we do to make this happen? It's good they were asking those questions and I do blame them. And I do blame them. I do blame now, them. Now. Um, and I blame us for getting such a good guest. I blame. I what think, a great I segue. think if we have too good of a time tonight, I blame us. I blame us. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to have the best time. Oh. Can I tell you what the party is? What's the party? At Chloe is crazy. At Chloe is crazy. Oh. Ooh, honey, it is a trove of content Here's every the, day. It, it, each each day. Each day. Sometimes more than once a day. Ooh. You'll get a treasure trove. You'll get. And it will become impressions down. It will become characters down. It's acting. impressions down. Characters down. Uh, yeah, a little acting moments down, like steering wheel <laughs> acting, or is it's 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 photo shoot moments. It's dance yes, moments. Yes, it's yes. street things. Oh my god! She, last night she had this fucking guy who was catcalling her, following her, and it was riveting to watch. <laughs> she can turn anything into Academy Award. Academy Award, but it's com it is truly compelling. Let me tell you Thank where you. I met this person. Catherine Cohen at, again, how many times do I say this? She it's, links. It's my favorite yes. show. She links it she up. She links, no. yes. It's my favorite show in New York. It's my favorite show. Well, yeah. you Cabernet see. Cabernet Cabernet, I was guest hosting for Catherine. Yes, yes. I remember this night. I was yes. sitting in the audience. She, our guest goes up. I was like, Oh, she literally. My God, Catherine emailed me like in two hours before she was like, "Okay, we literally this person is in town. We must have her on the show." I was like, "Okay, cool. Give me your number." Came in, slayed. Did impressions of famous celebrities giving beige. It was a moment. Blue giving BJs, Blue Jays, uh, Blue Jays, BJs, Toronto Blue Jays, Blue Jays. Blow jobs, <laughs> Blue Jays from Toronto, honey. I think <laughs> the she's slay was evident. So funny, and then wow. just and then the moment that you, I mean, at this point, tens of thousands of people uh, follow her, but at the moment that you look through her stuff, you're just like, <gasps> it's a treasure wow. trove. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> we're very happy. We're very happy. And she's in town from LA, and so we have her on the pod, and her name is Chloe Feynman. Thank you. Wow. Hey, Chloe. Wow. wow. This is a big, and also this is a this is a moment where I was like, I literally have been telling people, I was like, you know, Chloe Feynman's coming on the show, and people are like, oh my god, what? Oh my god. My friend Nika from LA is gagged. Gagged. Really? Yes. Yeah. Really? Okay, can we talk about what happened last night? You were walking yes. down. So it's been a, it's actually, um, I can't stop thinking about the fact that I'm not getting catcalled. Yeah. In 2018. <laughs> and you're, you're wow. lamenting it. I'm lamenting it. Um, I, I've, I like Those tried, because it, it was like this thing. I was like, this is content that can, <laughs> that has legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Conversation I, starter. Conversation starter. I remember like, where like putting on shorter gym shorts and going in downtown LA, just like hello, uh, yeah, 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 and like silence. Wow, everywhere <laughs> recently. But then when you were when you were here when you were in school here, would that happen? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and I um more disgusting city, New York. A 
little bit more disgusting, yeah. but also like I have a butt, and yeah. and yes. it was like nice to have it finally be acknowledged, right, 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 if right. on the street, but not last night. Not la- it's been silenced honestly for the last year. Ever since the Me Too movement, I'll never forget. I used to mm. walk downtown. And there was this guy in a in like a driveway, a security guard, and he'd always be like, "Hey, lady." Yeah. And I walked by, <laughs> and he looked at me, and his mouth just was glued together. Wow, the power! He learned his lesson. He learned his lesson. He learned his. But lesson. I hate it, and I have all these girls being like, "Yeah, like I don't know if I look good." <laughs> <laughs> like, like we're so mad at getting catcalled, but we need it. But you need it. Okay, oh but then like, God. and then how does it get reflected back? Is the thing right? Yeah. But then okay, so then talk about this guy coming up to you because this so guy he was, was really kind and. I was but really he was aggressive. Desperate. Yeah, yeah, but I was desperate. Okay, and I was asking for it. I was in a tube top. You were in a tube top, and he you came. Great. Up, thank, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Thir- thoughty thirty. Thoughty thirty. Yeah. Thoughty thirty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah. It's an embracing. It is. It is. How much? How, how, how much time left do we have on thoughty? Oh is it thoughty thirties or thoughty thirty? I think we can make the thoughty thirties. I think it's the thoughty thirties. Yeah. Twenties <laughs> was NYU stage blacks. Yes. Yes. For sure. And period costumes. Yes. Thirties are thoughty. Yeah, good. 30s are thoughty. What what studio were you in in NYU? I was at Adler. 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 Yeah, Rachel Winitsky was in my studio. Right. Oh, wow. Okay, yes, the mm-hmm. famous Winitsky. Yeah. I mean, so you're you're in Adler. Adler, wow. You're in your studio blacks. You walk outside, mm-hmm. immediately get catcalled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. The, wow, the Chelsea catcallers. Yes. <laughs> Wait, was that a Chelsea? Was Adler a Chelsea? It's in Chelsea, yeah. Great, great, great. Yeah. Okay, so Adler is like a studio where they take it V seriously. So serious. Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't leave all four years. Wow. You stayed. Which is, I, which is, people should know is uncommon. Very, very uncommon. Yeah, like, usually people, yeah, yeah. you know, they dip around. They, they dip, dip around. around. They go to London. The mm, experimental yeah, no. theater. <laughs> you wanted to stay in the yeah. Adler. I was like, I need to play this 50-year-old alcoholic. Uh, yes. Now. Truthfully, now. Yeah, now. <laughs> At 21. At 21. Yeah. Did this you is take my time. yourself as seriously as the studio took itself? More seriously. Really? You wow. took yourself yeah. I'm Like, I get embarrassed coming back to New York and like seeing people like Rachel because they know me a certain way okay, and what, that I'm desperately trying to never <laughs> remember. And so what way was that? Like um, in what ways did you take yourself so seriously? One time I had a meltdown in the bathroom over a roll and the head of the uh, Stella Adler's grandson Tom Oppenheim banged on the door. Uh, Tom. And Tom was like, <laughs> I'm like oh my I God. was great. I was just weeping and <laughs> He was banging on the door. He's like, Chloe, Chloe, come out. Chloe, please let us talk to you. Chloe, Chloe. Oh yes. my gosh. This is theater school. I was Absolutely. theater school. Yeah. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I'm like oh talking my to my God. mom and she's like, what is wrong? Like people are going to worry. And then they probably I, were worried. Of course they were worried. And then yeah. I came out and then they like, went up to the front desk and they're like, it's okay. It happens at least once a week. <laughs> These kids, they're These constantly kids. breaking down. Yeah. But see, this is the thing. Like, as someone who like secretly always wa- like secretly wanted to be a Tish kid while Same. I was at NYU. Oh, I was, but I wanted you to be were. an acting kid. Wanted you wanted oh. you were yes. Yeah. Oh, I got into dramatic writing because it was the quote unquote easiest to get into. Right, and I was but like even more degree away than that. I also yeah. feel like the most sustainable. I- I'm happy I went now. At the time, I agree with what Bowen is about to say. You really wanted that kind of acting education. Well, secretly, I was yeah. like, I am not in the right place. You wanted yeah. the passion. Wanted the passion. But but my conception of what drama school was like was <laughs> crying in a bathroom yeah. and yeah. having Tom up. Op- <laughs> Tom up and high. Stella Adler's grandson knocking on the door. Yeah. It was Tom. There was, and then and I'll also never forget. There was I got in a huge fight because the casting of the plays had come out, Ugh. and I was cast as Lady Macbeth. Ah, fabulous and what and no you one wanted I did yeah because it's a great role right? but people were out to kill me oh yeah I've experienced that <sighs> and this girl and this girl's boyfriend was Macbeth and she was so upset and so mean that she started running down the halls <laughs> like, oh my god weeping and I was like Eleanor Eleanor like come <laughs> Eleanor let's talk oh, Eleanor my god. and she was like no because she like desperately like wanted to be Lady Macbeth. She wanted them the, to do like the a power a, couple. Like a power couple do the play. And so I remember like circling her and I was like, Eleanor, talk. Oh. Eleanor, Eleanor, <laughs> Eleanor. She was like, no. And she always wore like really fancy Marc Jacobs because NYU has like those rich kids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. she was like draped in couture and like ignoring me. And then Ellen Adler, Stella Adler's grandmother saw us and she was crying and she goes, if my mother knew that you girls were arguing on Rosh Hashanah, I swear to God. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, so much- oh, so this was like, this was, this is like this time of year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is September unbelievable. September casting. So September. How, how did the production uh, go ultimately? Um, 
<laughs> oh, oh, I'm very either. Okay, so they brought in a director who directs <laughs> Shakespeare, like the Harlem Shakespeare Company. I love it. So was not used to directing whites in <laughs> their early nine, like twenty year old yeah, white, yeah. white, pe- white girl. <laughs> and so I was like, he wanted me to like spit on Macbeth Whoa. and like grab his. I did do this thing where I was like, thou should know. And I would gra- like fake grab his balls yeah. and look him in the eyes. Love that. And be like, was because the hope. she's really got the power. Yeah, she's got the power to be like, was uh, like, m- m- uh, you know, the baby line. I don't know. Sure, sure, sure. I'm yeah, blanking yeah. on all of. Ladies. Yes, yeah. I, I don't remember it either. Never was, was good. Was the at hope here. drunk? Grab yeah, his yeah, balls, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. look him in the eye, spit. It was very wow, like. Wow. Okay. And you did that. I did that, and I was doing it, and I hit him or something, and he was like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And his direction was like, come on, she's crazy, she's crazy. <sighs> And so I spit on him and the director was like, why did you do that? Like, what? That was so crazy. And I was like, well, you told me she's crazy. He yeah. goes, no, no, no. Like, damn, you crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and he was white. He's like an old white Italian guy. Oh, God. And so the day that we premiere our show, he sits us down and is like, enjoy this because um, you're probably never going to play these roles again. What? The, what I they, mean, I remember this. Rest, God rest her soul, but Liz Suedos, oh, she yes. would fuck with my head. So we did a Tish main stage of Marat Saad. Mm-hmm. But I, I remember I, that I played the Marquis de Saad. Oh my god! And it was controversy because I was in dramatic writing, but I was one of Liz's favorites. I mean, I can right. say now. Yeah. So but, I, but she selected, I, and I remember I got and so into people the, were out to kill you. They were out to they do kill that. It's, me. It's gross. They, I mean, they were so upset, and I guess they had a point because I was not a drama student. I here I was in the main stage, sure, sure, but I sure. kind of was like, well, you know, this is what happens in the industry. Models are going to take your part, so it might as well be me. <laughs> you compared yourself to, <laughs> to models, well, to models who had no rights to take the jobs. Yeah, but it's true. But I was like, you know what? Like, I, I honestly was just like fighting, fighting, fighting to be accepted. Um, no one will ever. And then, you. of course, there was of course all the pressure on me to be good at the part. And then you add on to it, by the way, they made it a punk rock musical. I don't know if you remember that. I remember that. this. Yeah. Did you see it? I, I, saw I think it. I saw it, and I'm starstruck that it yeah. was you. Oh, that was me. I was the Marquis de Sade. Oh I sang God. the song where we got whipped, and it was like a punk rock ballad. It actually was pretty badass. Okay. I don't know if I did it well. I don't but remember a single fucking thing. No, it was like a full <laughs> fever dream. It was crazy. It, it, was, was, just, it was like being underwater. It was 19 year old yeah. screaming <laughs> yeah. at a bunch of like fucking white because they middle said class adults. They said it in a <laughs> detention facility for like troubled youth. Yeah, yeah. And we they also had us write our own monologues as the characters. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. And in, in top of doing the text, which was musicalized in punk rock. It was insane. That's what they do. But I remember Liz would drive me nuts because she'd give me different direction every day. And totally different. Like, she's like, no, I want the character to be like Steven Tyler. So then I would come in and I'd be like Steven Tyler. She goes, wait, can no. I see you do? <laughs> well, <laughs> like, <laughs> Steve, like Let's unpack when, that. when she said Steven Tyler, I was like, okay, so you want him to be like an active rock star. Yeah. Right. Like Johnny you want him, Depp. You want him to be like, come in with swag. Okay. She's like, no, it should be much more moody than that. I'm like, okay, well, Steven Tyler isn't moody. Isn't moody. And then I, I kind of of realized that she she either one of two things didn't know what she wanted yeah. and mm-hmm. was gonna when she saw it was like do that <laughs> or she wanted me to be confused she constantly right. wanted to to keep it fresh and have you switch back and yeah. I think what she wanted was for me to be like a lunatic yeah and yeah. I, okay. and she succeeded I was fully yeah. crazy I dyed my hair black <gasps> mm-hmm. like and, and that like made, changed you my personality looked, you looked like a villain. I, and I, I was. That's why I don't recognize you. I probably. Yeah. Yeah. I remember like, Black Swan had just come out. Oh my God. Yes. Wait. Yes. Yes. You yes. remember this era? I too was at Tish doing Black Swan. Oh yeah. So that changed too. That changed the yeah. way you thought. I remember one time I had a. This is the most NYU story, and I probably have told I it love before. These but NYU I had a good, fight with my voice teacher who asked me to. He asked me to sing that rock ballad in in, in voice class with him, and uh-huh. I hadn't gone over it with him because he he was trying to get me to sing oh what a beautiful morning and I just was like this is not the way I sing so he's like can you sing the ballad that you sing in the show for me now I want to hear the way you're singing it Uh he told me I could tell you that you're not allowed to go on stage singing it the way you sing it and I'm like well I have to sing it like from my gut like it's like it's like a I'm like thrashing around getting whipped while I do it it's like I have to I can't really sing it like this I can't do it like this yeah. I have to do it like the way I'm being directed to do it sure. right. he goes this is why Tish sucks they can't t- they don't teach you how to sing correctly Steinhardt is the only place you learn how to sing correctly oh, he we, was got a fight. we got into a fight we got into a fight and I walked from that <laughs> class like Natalie Portman in the last scene of Black Swan walking to Lincoln Center like right. crazed her hair is askew yes, like yes. I, I was like and I, I stormed in like threw my makeup on the table and did my makeup and it was like 
truly Tish. Oh you don't get more Tish than oh that. And gave God. like a fucking seven out of ten performance, probably. I remember seeing Black Swan in the Union Square. Yes. Yes. We saw it in that Same. theater, and I saw it with a girl, and we were in the middle of a play. And I was so triggered by it because oh, yeah. I felt like I like I re- like it was my story yep. <laughs> that I, she was like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "I have to go take a lap." Yeah. And I walked alone, like in, around oh. Union Square and all yep. that, and just like processed the oh, film. My yeah. God. <laughs> not good for uh, not a good movie for. Just, Narcissistic drama. Yeah, students I was to like, I was like, this narcissism story is my <laughs> yeah. story. I relate. There's a kernel of truth to this. Yeah, both of you should be arrested for that behavior. I know. Oh, I, I fully should have been under arrest. <laughs> no, totally. I also was very sexually reckless at the time. Oh, oh. wait. Jalous. Hot producer Alex was in was in drama school at NYU. No, uh-huh. I was you were. Oh, oh cool. I'm Joe Cilio. Hot producer That's Joe. That's better. That's Joe better. Joe oh, was the God actor. It. Creative writing was cool. I, I would have pegged Alex for an actor oh. this whole time. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. You did act. He's I, a f- fabulous actor and a great director. Yeah. Wonderful. I took creative writing and there was a girl who would show up with an entire pumpkin. Veganism had like just hit yeah, NYU. Yeah. Wow. And this girl showed up with like a baked <laughs> pumpkin that she'd unwrap the tinfoil and that would, she would just eat the pumpkin. <laughs> I love and that. We would read. <laughs> I love more her. Of right. and She's an her. icon. She was iconic. She was iconic. Wait, it's actually rule iconic. of culture number seventeen. Pumpkins, Pumpkins are iconic, <laughs> especially in October. They are. There we go. They are. You know the pumpkin spice is back. They are. I like the kabocha squash a lot. What's this? What the That's fuck the. Is this? It's a Japanese pumpkin. Oh. I prefer my root vegetables Japanese, like the Japanese sweet potato, Japanese pumpkin. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 you're, yes. you're a tarot girl. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you been to the east? <laughs> <laughs> I have not. You have to go. You have to go to any McDonald's in East Asia. Oh, and they they'll have it. They'll have apple pie, but then in the same pastry as the apple pie, they'll put taro in it. Oh, really? It's I so love good. taro. It's so good. Taro it's chips. So good. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It's a dangerous thing to cook, though. Really? Oh yes. I'm from Berkeley, and so we like are really eccentric. About it. I don't. Yeah, you know. Yeah, no, for everyone's sure. Everyone's like sure. a white person being like, "Let me tell you, like, how to prepare taro." <laughs> <laughs> True story. But you have to. You can like. T- Poison yourself if you don't like oh, soak really? it or something. Yeah. Shit, even I don't know that. Wait, can we talk about this? Okay, so yeah. what do you think? Because at this point, it seems like you've undone all of this like yeah. wild histrionic like drama school behavioral stuff. I am sorry. But, but like, well you, well, you can look back on it now and be like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I was a nightmare. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I can't believe I was that person. Like, whether or not you're a nightmare is up to someone else. Is up yeah, to, that's true. That's actually very But um, <laughs> do, what do you think was the thing that like helped you like? Was it just time or like, I, like, because at what point do you look back on yourself and be like, oh, I can't believe I was that person? Yeah. Um, a com- getting into comedy. I yeah. was yeah. not, I had no sense of humor, but, but all throughout Tish was like, this is so dumb. Yeah. You know you, what I mean? You yep. knew at the back of your yeah, head. Yeah. Like Rachel was like, they knew they were funny. Yeah. But even Rachel didn't get into comedy. She really after didn't. She it didn't exist. It like yeah. truly did not exist in that space. It yeah. didn't exist in that space. Yeah. 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 Um, but also, we had this awful class where they like typecast nineteen-year-olds, basically. Oh, God, and so good for a nineteen-year-old. So good for yeah, a nineteen-year-old. Yeah, yeah. And I remember like that, like that day, you'd like come in and be like, "Well, people tell me I kind of look like Kate Winslet." <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so I guess I'm. I guess that's the, who I am. I'm the next Kate Winslet. <laughs> and like I remember like Rachel going up and some other funny Jewish girls and then uh-huh. being like, you're funny. You're this meets that. You're you're hilarious. To you? Saying that to you? No. Oh. To, then, to like Rachel and no. like the Jewish Rachel, girls. Oh, that basically like God. the oh. yeah. Jewish girls got to be funny and then I went up and I had highlights, which I still do. Yeah. And they're like, elegant and complicated. <laughs> And that I died. It was monstrous. like it was That's, monstrous. They think they know what they're talking yeah. about, and all they do is get kids so in their heads that they can't I was so actually find what they're meant to do. Right. And I literally was like, "But I, I I'm," f- I, you, and then I had to be like, "You can't be like I'm funny." But, yeah. You know. I'm, they're yeah. like, "Well, you don't look funny." Yeah. <laughs> they do that. I mean, oh. in Cap yeah. Twenty One, we have friends that went to Cap Twenty One too, and they they were the same thing. I mean, Dave gets told all the time, like he he said he got told a lot, like you will never ever be funny you are only handsome like he he said he'll even say it's like it's gross you go up there and they assess you and they and they're out of work i mean not to shit but like they don't have jobs right. they're just working in a i mean they work in a school sure right. i mean like where's yeah like they sat us down i'll never forget they sat us down this guy and he pointed to all of us and he'd go romantic lead character actor romantic lead character, character actor rom- and then you go <sighs> in between <laughs> they, they, did you ever hear the story oh, like uh, they had this uh, dance teacher I guess his name was like Lloyd or something of course and he would just go and he'd be like chorus lead 
funny. No career. What a fucking you. nightmare. Like, it's a nightmare. And he, would, he would just like, they call, they would call him real life Lloyd Ugh. because he would give you the real life. And it makes you so <laughs> self-involved. My friend was yeah. staying at, with me at the time and I had everyone from our class come over yeah. and like point and be like, well, you, you know, you are, you are Rachel McAdams. Though, because <laughs> like, no, but like you really are uh, like, you're sweet. You, you don't see it, but you are. And we yeah, all, yeah, that's yeah. how we see you. Holy and hell. My friend, had to, she was like a journal. She's like a hyper genius journalist student and was like, why are you here? Like, yeah. This, yeah. I, this was so traumatic and gross yeah. for me to witness. God, I mean, like, I'm still, like, reckoning with that bullshit from high school. And that really? is, like, there's no structure behind that. But, like, I, I, I don't know. High I, school? What I happened just, in high school? I just had, like, shitty adults who, like, didn't know what they were talking about. Be like, you will never be, like, the lead. Like, like you will never be, like, someone who will, like, be, like, prominently featured on stage. That's Like, terrible. make it work. Make it work as, like, like milk it as a chorus member. Do that. Somebody said to me one time, yeah. um, not handsome enough to be the star, but not ugly enough to be the best friend. So, hmm. So what? Like, and then is, I was like, is uh, and then like, create your own work. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I know. It's wow. Really... I'm like, I'm holding my face right now. You guys <laughs> yeah. can see. Oh my it God. It gets worse in LA. Um, okay, really? Yeah, yeah. But then it's like funny. And and you have a, you know who you are. Kind. I mean, I know that I don't like to be myself. Sure. <laughs> Auditions in LA. I yes. mean, I've only done it like for one week, but like the people who work those are su- their own breed of people. Oh yeah. They're just like, I mean like, you mean the people who like run the casting? Well, thing? like yeah, like I like I did one with with this woman who like worked out of a bungalow, lovely bungalow in Silver Lake. <laughs> oh, you did the oh, that's a big deal to get to her bungalow. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know who you're talking about. I think I did too. She has yeah. like she has like the mm-hmm. sort of like the short mm-hmm. hair. Yeah, yeah. Good for you she to get to that bungalow. Did, didn't have didn't have any sides. <laughs> just, she was off book with 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 the whole the whole right. thing <laughs> was giving me like full like grounded realism. Like hey, so and I was like. Oh, we're just doing it. Like yeah, she, she, she walked into the room, she sits down, and then she just starts. <laughs> she starts. She started the, the scene. She started the scene, and I was like, oh. <laughs> and it was fine. And then, like afterwards, she goes, mm, "Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need you to come back in tomorrow. Okay, you, the Josh needs like what the, what the, whatever the, the guy needs yeah, to yeah. see. She was like, Josh needs to see you, and um, yeah, I see what you're doing, and just like, try, like she, it was just like so bizarre. It was lovely, like it was yeah. a positive experience, but I was like, oh, people in LA are so specific in, in how they do this. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's well, they say it's harder. It's harder than theater. <laughs> The specificity, the choices. I see. I agree with that. It's true. Because totally. when you when you're acting on stage, you can perform. You can totally. perform. But when you are acting on camera, you have to be acting. Yes. Yeah. Like you can't hide from the camera. Right. Yeah. Right. There's this awful teacher who actually I she have you heard about this like dr- drama that happened where this woman told a Jewish girl to yes, be yes, Hispanic. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Were yes. we talking about that the other we day? We were. Yeah. Yeah. I love talking about it. <laughs> I can't like that. They said talked about this, to a yeah. Jewish girl that she should that she should change, change her, name her name to Rosa Ramirez, so right, that she'll right. work. In I read Hollywood. about this. She's, she's based in New York. This this person, the teacher, the teacher. No, yeah. she's in LA. Oh, she's in LA. Yeah, okay, yeah, great. yeah. I I was in her class and around that time, and wow. I ended up dropping out and used this to get out of it. But yeah. I remember I like showed up and wasn't fully off book, and she looked at me and was like, "How can I critique your acting <laughs> when you're not off book?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh and he literally God. said like the instead of and it was like yeah wait what wait the and wait what are you talking I, like, about my line was like the, f- the oh, oh, oh and it was like procedural barely. doctor sides that like i'll never ever go out for or yeah. has anything to do with my life yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i was like the spinal fifida and she's like, <laughs> 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 how can i, like I critique spinal your, fifida uh, better yeah. yeah spinal how can i critique your acting if you're not if you're not off book, book. Yeah, that is. I kind of live for that. I, l- I know that's the thing. I was like, I kind of am like. I get kind it. of I love, you. love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like, kind of think you're amazing. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's like that cold like authority without raising your voice. Oh, it's just. It's literally Meryl. It's what you did the other day. It's Meryl Streep oh, in Devil Wears Prada. She barely raises her yeah, voice. She and never just, does. It's stillness. Yeah, but those. But like I've. But then like ever since I've thought of that, like I'm just like I'm trying to like emulate. But like, but then you seem like a. You have to, that has to be earned. Like, I can't just do that from now on. Yeah. Without just, someone being like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, to be quiet and yeah. like still. <laughs> well, that's the weird thing, right? It's like we're at, at this stage of our career where it's like starting out, it's like you, you go in there and you make a big choice and they're like, what the fuck? What do they think they are? Like, yeah, why, yeah, did, why yeah. didn't they do what they were supposed to do? Right, 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 <laughs> and right, then, right. But it's like, but but I'm told to make choices. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a really yeah. bad, my worst audition like so far was in New York, like oh, it, yeah. in the winter. Oh, <gasps> 
What and was it? What was that? Um, no, don't say what it was, but like, what was the experience? What was I showed up. I had a fun rainbow sweater that that was like trending at the time. I love a trend. <laughs> yep. Love Saudi, a trend. Saudi 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. And the woman, I like sit down. I brought like glasses because she was a nerd. Uh-huh. And then she was like, please take off your sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I like was wearing like a silk and then a bra and I was like yeah okay sure so I took off the sweater and I like did it and she was like do you act <laughs> oh my god and I was god. like what she's like well no, I mean you do the skits and the sketches but wow. do you act Jesus scripted, Christ scripted material here's the thing I, I I mean I will this is this just goes without saying but I'm just realizing this again now it's so much worse for women just, I was just oh. gonna say yeah. the same yeah, thing yeah, 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 yeah. no casting director has really? ever treated yeah, 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 me like yeah, yeah, really yeah. never yeah. Uh, yeah. never and I'm maybe sorry. a gay man really well, but, and, and but, then I take that I'm like oh great she, we're just queening out it's yeah fine. but sometimes it's it's the maybe a gay man would be like sweetie or can we can we do this like but yeah. no and maybe commercial commercially the directors cast yeah, directors yeah, for yeah, commercials yeah. are a little yeah. bit more like um just like not willing to just, engage just like snippy, it's more yeah. right now but, but that's kind of the like, nature of that but i've never a been spoken power to trip. Yeah. like that yeah to, an, to another woman is just I felt like so bad and i because i was like i'm not good at multicam yet <laughs> oh what? it's hard I, yeah you it was really like i got it stuff. you know it was like i got it the night before i had like five hours right, it was right. like eight pages oh god do you I hate act that. yeah you, that's <laughs> so you do annoying the skits in this yeah and i hate when people call like what we do skits, skits. It's Whatever. like rule number, it's rule number 90 Three. of culture. Yeah. They're called <laughs> sketches. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And then, yeah. Okay, so then comedy was this thing that like you would say helped undo a lot of this. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, when you graduate Adler, they don't really give you like any career advice because you're just used to playing these alcoholics. Yeah. <laughs> Nailing them. <laughs> Nailing them. Wow. And so they send you across the street to one-on-one. Do you know that place? Oh, yeah. No, oh, no. One-on-one studios. It's on 27th. And they have casting director workshops, so you go to those. Uh, you like learn how to do on camera, right? Right. Yeah, right. you learn how to do on camera, and like I would go to those and like cry and do those kind of things. And they're like, I, we want to see your funny side. Um, uh-huh. But yeah, it wasn't until I like moved to LA yeah. and just was like really lost that I got right. into it. How did you get into it? Um, I my mom told me to do improv to find a guy. <laughs> 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 so where did you go? Groundlings or UCB? I, well, I went to Groundlings and I was like, they're all gay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Groundlings is pretty it's gay. It's very gay. Groundlings it's my home. Queer. It's my yeah. home. Yeah, it's yeah. Women, women and gays. And like one straight guy from Ohio. Well, Love and he's that. probably wonderful. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it, it's like literally Indiana, Ohio. Everyone else is gay and women. Yeah, it feels like the Groundlings is gay. But, it's like, very gay. But, oh, but, like, but it's also, well, I shouldn't say this, but it's a little homophobic. Really? Oh, because really? are they playing stock? Well, it's like I Drew Drogi is like my hero. Yeah. Like he's like we my divine. Ins- yeah, yeah, my divine inspiration. I like I've loved him forever, and he was not a groundling, which blows my mind because I think he's one of the most talented people yeah. of all time. He's amazing. Where, what, like where? But like where did he come up again? I thought for the longest time I thought it was groundlings. He was groundlings. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my and god. And they like just this year are letting men play women. Like it's just a, sure, sure. a slower game. Really? That's so interesting. But I like yeah. it there because all the teachers are women. Right. Great. And gays. Perfect. And I like that. The and thing- UCB's like, it kind of kept me in LA for a while because I Great. felt like I could develop as like a female. Yeah, I hear that. I, mean, I think that yeah. it, it, at UCB, it's only recently. And what I say recently, I think in the last five or six years, it's become this place where it's like you see more than one queer person gay person yeah. more yeah. than one woman like now there's like a whole community large community of people in yeah. the new york scene that are like We're you know queer or like even just like you see color. more yeah, than you yeah. s- now yeah. i think is the only time and i think it did have a lot to do with having a female artistic director where the a lot most of the teams are half women half men yeah, yeah. yeah. but that was not the case no no in sure. la you'd like walk in and you'd be blinded by the plaid you'd sort of like see like all this pl- you'd see like the keds or whatever <laughs> yeah. or the converse and then the plaid and then you'd have to like look up because everyone was so tall yep men yeah taking <laughs> improv Man. classes there i started in 2009 and it was like it was it, it was dicey it, it's already like it's already like um, vulnerable and you're anxious taking an improv class. Yeah, and right. because you don't you don't know what you're doing. Right. right, and then when it's everyone is like a certain type of person, you're like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna yeah. die. You know yeah. what's so interesting? I was talking to someone, um, Maritza Montanez. She teaches uh, UCB 101 now. She's mm. great. Um, but she was I ran into her and like I was catching up with her and she was like, yeah, I'm teaching classes now. And then she brought up something interesting where she was like, it's interesting giving feedback to people in one on one where they don't have the language yet 
to you, you like they don't have the language for you to say like oh you're not playing game this was off game like right. the only way you can note these people at 101 is to be like hey that wasn't funny <laughs> you <Yeah. know? laughs> like you can't make a disabled joke because <sighs> That's not funny. It's yeah. every scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when people start out, they don't know how to not be offensive. Right, right. <laughs> no, it's really true. Those yeah. are my treasure troves are those 101 classes. Oh, oh yeah. Even 201. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. In terms I of your, your own stuff or like watching other people? Or watching other people. And yeah. like, I remember I had to repeat 201 for some reason. Like, I don't know. I like, took a while to get yeah, through it. Yeah, sure, And sure. in LA, the people who take those classes are like, business like yep. it, for so long it's no one who actually wants to do it yes. yeah, which yeah. makes it so fun and yeah. funny so fun yeah, yeah. <laughs> like really old people oh yeah i i we, there's always the one like really outliery person yeah yeah yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, in new york in new york you it, mean well in any class yeah. i feel like there's in always LA, that there's one like person you'll never forget yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah there was there, there was like a glitch i was signing up for 401 i took <laughs> 401 glitch? I took, glitch? there was like a glitch <laughs> I was signing up for 401. I took 401 with Doug Moe. Oh, Doug. And um, it was like there was only eight people in the class due to a glitch. <laughs> wow. And, and like so that one guy was like in every scene. <laughs> because he just by, by nature of it, we all did more scenes because there was only eight of us. And so it just became so overwhelming yeah. that it was like, I don't know if I can. If I can do this, yeah. oh, but it was man. just like, yeah, Ugh, I don't know. It breathes weird. I don't too. miss being in classes. No, no. I never no. thrived Either. there. I was no. never the person that was like crushing it in class. That's you don't want to be that. Right. That's what right. I was at NY. I crushed class and yeah. then failed at life for oh, wow. years. Wow, interesting. Yeah. That's a gross thing to. I crushed. No, class. no, no, but no, but that's no, like, but I just, mean, that's a true thing. That's like, a thing. Where you're like the teacher likes me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I would say. I didn't love classes at UCB. I mean, they were they, they're great, they're necessary, but like I would say that I was always a good student in class, and then outside in the outside world, I'd be like, "Whoa, I'm terrible at this." Yeah. yeah. And I still have this weird thing with improv now. But anyway. Yeah. Um, I think, I think that is like such a good, I think that's such a rich like trajectory topography whatever for you because it's like topography topography it just like i don't know you're just like evening that out in such a nice way where it like yeah it like re reequilibrates i don't yeah. know I'm using all these big words yeah but. it comes in handy for like impression yeah stuff. yeah like okay. all, that, all those years of yeah. impressionista impressionista can we like get into this like we like i don't want to get too process oriented on this but like i have a co i have fi five beverages amazing so we <laughs> totally <laughs> she does okay. have a <laughs> solid fi five <laughs> beverages on her oh my here's God, the fourth she's okay more. so let's just Talk about what we have oh here. Oh my god! We have Essentia. Uh, this is just a water bottle. Classic yeah. Essentia bottle. We have a, in her own words, disgusting juice press. <laughs> Mother Earth. Drinking most of it. Of we course. have um, what's this? B12. B12. I feel tired. Complex. Great. Complex. And we have what's this here? We have lime mint carbonated juice press. <laughs> another yeah. juice probiotic. Press. But it's beverage. made with cane sugar, so I'm taking my time. Oh god, a cane <laughs> and sugar. And of course, a canned uh, cold brew. Nitro. Um, nitro cold and brew. And I was just paid for something, so I actually spent thirty dollars. Okay, wow. and then it means nothing. It means nothing. You just got paid. You just got paid. You just got New York paid. is so expensive. I love I, I to just, have beverages. I love beverages, and then I always forget how expensive it's going to be. Right. Especially $30. what the juice press was probably like eight, nine bucks. I think I forgot that. You, yeah. you did. This, this this looks like $40 this to me. $30 of. And it's bottles. And it's all, <laughs> bottles. <laughs> all bottles that are all bad for the environment. <laughs> and here we are. But it's here beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I feel like it's curated, nice. It looks like a. I could post it. It is. It's a tableau. Yeah, it's it is. Yeah. It's, I, I, I want them in the picture that we take. Yeah. The yes. Yeah, yes. we can all hold one. Um, um, process. Impressionista. Yeah. So when did you discover you could do them? And like. When I had to. For submitting for sh some stuff, from, yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. Some stuff. So yeah. then, so really, oh, it was you had, yeah. When you, only when you had to did you discover to you could do them, yeah. Because at UCB, they're not allowed to, right? And in your mod right. audition, you're not allowed to, and yeah. Groundlings, you're not allowed to. Oh, you're not allowed to in Groundlings either. No. They encourage no impressions for no like impressions. Sure, sure, characters. Sure. Welcome in mod. We, they we were yeah, told yeah, to yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. and I remember like yeah. in a class doing like Drew Barrymore or something, and being like, oh, I guess I actually. <laughs> Sound like her? That's crazy! Like yeah. that's literally crazy. Um, flower films. <laughs> flower films. Flower films. Flower, flower press. Hi, I um, can't do it. Crocs. <laughs> uh, okay, but so okay, this, this is what I want to get yeah. into. Like, what are, what are the first little things that you key in on, or is it just more of a holistic thing um, where you just like learn the whole? Sh like, I think it depends. It. I think like 
my brain was washed <laughs> uh, <laughs> because we had voice class for like three days a week at yeah. Adler. Uh-huh. And so I usually go to the voice first mm-hmm. because I feel like I'm like, it's the only way I feel like I'm actually applying undergrad. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's actually, Kristen Wick said the same thing. They asked her about impressions. Really? And they were like, I, she said that she doesn't even watch videos of people necessarily at first. She listens to them. Oh, really? Yeah. I ha- oh, no, great. I watch. It's a lot of like mindless YouTube and yeah. then kind of like finding what makes you laugh. So yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Like I just watch them until you. something they do makes me laugh. Yeah. Right. And then that, because you have to have a take. Sure. Which yeah. I exactly. find hard. I find it easier just to like be them. To just be them. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay, like with Gigi, for example. Is, that was her voice 100%. That was her voice. That but was like, watching Vogue 21 questions and being like, <laughs> what? Atrocious. Hagar, like it's Ooh, yeah, hey guys, <laughs> um, Zion really likes pizza, and um, <laughs> and you're like, you look like a cat goddess, and the voice, and your voice of like a f- seven year old boy. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 whatever, yeah. whatever it is, and it's like kind of, it's like she's from Malibu, <laughs> and things aren't pronounced correctly, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I should... think my favorite that you do is Nicole Kidman oh, in Big you. Little Lies. Thank you. The wig is the on wig. point. Thanks. That was you make me laugh. laugh. That was pressure <laughs> to submit a tape for something. Wow. Yeah. And I was like, I, I feel like I could do Big Little Lies. Yeah. And I and I yeah. locked myself. I I didn't have um, HBO in right. my apartment, so I drove to San Francisco. <laughs> what? I was like manic. When I have a deadline, I like get manic. Yeah, People yeah. Do same, that same, same, same. We're all. I feel like I notice in LA, and they're like, I have to write, and they're like in a hotel somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's like at the Madonna Inn. <laughs> I understand it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. Oh <laughs> three, three days, like a day of it was in travel. I literally yeah. drove and wow. and just like watched it. And yeah, her laugh made me laugh. Yeah. So. <laughs> I was like, you we have a tape. Laugh. <laughs> she, it's laugh. so funny with Nicole Kim in too, because like stunning performance. Like, amazing she's performance. Amazing. She's incredible. incredible yeah. But does she slip into her own accent often? Yes, yes, honey. Yes. She does, honey. And you can't deny. Yeah. But you're still, I had that SAG ballot in my hands and I checked Nicole Kidman. There you yeah. go. Yeah. There's no it's way. It's the scene in the therapist's office. That absolutely. It's like stunning. Oh, it's absolutely. I mean, I have that, to go back and that, watch. Just that it's just scene. just that one scene. That was amazing. The, the, the first one or the last one? Mm, where when the, they're together. The, well, when the they're act, together. The therapist actress, I forgot her name, is an incredible. Incredible. She's she incredible. was in um, She was in Angels in America. I have yeah, to remember yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Her, she was in great. Deadwood. She's like. Who, Angels in America, the play or the, 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 HBO? the HBO thing? Who's she, she in the HBO? She was like one of the figurines in the museum that comes to life and talks oh, to Harper. I love those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. She's amazing. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, that therapist. Oh my god. Oh, god. oh my god. No, I I'm not accepting not knowing her name. Aaron, um, I think it's Aaron. No. Ugh. And the I'm way gonna... she just like gently prods the questions. Robin. Robin Weiger. Robin Weiger. Robin oh, Weiger. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. She's, She's tremendous. And one she, of the best. She just played a fucking great therapist. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like yeah. that's and and Nicole yeah. and the way that Nicole responds to Alexander in that scene. Amazing. Like, I also think oh, Alexander yeah. Skarsgård. He's Amazing. Oh, he, he deserves he's every amazing. award he yeah. won for that. He's amazing. Yeah, he's the, sh- incredible. the show doesn't work without him being terrifying and terrible. And yeah. And you have to things. imagine that a lot of actors were like hesitant to do something like that because when you're too good at playing that, it's like, especially now, it's like, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You get people are so stupid. They, they can't separate the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's tremendous. And then with okay, and then with Hannah Gadsby. Oh, that yeah. was that was voice and like That was like my friend Casey who I Shardy Party 69. Yeah, um, I love 69. him. Yeah, I love yeah, Shardy. Yeah, Shardy's the best. Um we were like thinking of new ones to do and he was like I think you should take on Hannah. <laughs> like we treat it like a <laughs> role. Like you treat it like take a role you're yeah, 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 I think yeah. you should do Hannah. Yeah. Wow. And that was really hard. I had to watch her a lot. Be- yeah. And then even when we shot the video the first 45 like we had like so many first takes of it yeah, and it yeah. was sounded like Emma Thompson doing an impression of <laughs> oh. like it was just like a bad Emma Thompson impression yeah for so long I loved the it's, backdrop you guys used it's her backdrop and like it was the stool mic. and one mic and then like oh my god it was that's what's so fun about funny. we just do it for fun yeah. yeah finding the green screen <laughs> Like finding the image is honestly one of the most fun. Well, parts the fun of it. of it really comes through. You know what I mean? And then because yeah. you know, it, it feels like Drew, even it feels like Drew, Drew doing is, a Chloe Drew video. Drew is my divine inspiration. Oh. He really is. He's carved the path. He, well, I mean, truly, like Drew was one of these first people in like this modern contemporary whatever sense of internet comedy. Of internet comedy, where Matt and I were like, "Who is this?" Yeah, Chloe was huge for us. Huge. Me I mean, too. Yeah. Me too. Enormous. I, and when when I found out he taught at Groundlings, I like lost my shit. Yes. Yes. And ran to his class. And yeah. he's a really intense teacher. Oh, oh sure. I would, I would he not. barks and it's whole, he's like, no, I love that. no. What did, no, shut up, shut up, no. See, like that, I, I love that. That is, 
that sounds similar than like any sort of drama school Adler. Like, like it is. It totally. Vitriol. I felt at home at Groundlings because the teachers are really like mean, but it's funny in a way that is like that makes you want to do better. Where and not in a very stressful way. I mean, it's stressful, but it's not as destructive as like someone at Adler being like, mm, no, nah, like I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, well, my first like my first impression. Oh, I'm being so gross, but go, we're going to go, go. do it. My very first impression was our Shakespeare teacher. The, uh -huh. I have this acting teacher character. That's me just doing an impression of this old gay man who taught us Shakespeare. Uh -huh. Who was like, you have to grow a penis. <laughs> you have Rachel to grow Hines. a penis. Yeah, he like <laughs> wow. wished he'd come up in your ear playing Lady Macbeth. You have to grow a penis. <laughs> <laughs> you have to grow a penis is the title penis. of this You have to grow a penis. You have to yeah. grow a penis. Make sure write that down, yeah. HP. And then he'd be like, throw your pussy in the ring. <laughs> and I was, we were 18. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, oh my God, a teacher's using the word pussy. Pussy. You, yeah. If you were doing Hamlet and I was Ophelia, he would ruffle your hair and then whisper in your ear, imagine she's sucking your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but that's like it that's was, that's sling blade. I know, I yeah. know. It was so. I feel like it would not fly today. Oh, never. But I loved it. No, I mean, what I, the thing is, like, the, impressions for me are the hardest. Really? I am not so good at hard. them. So what yeah. I always do is I pick a take, and it's kind of like we that's were watching. Smart, though, that's like what you really should do. Sure. It has sure. to have a take. Well, when it can be, when people can be like, "Oh my god, that was such a good impression." I think that's great. Those have to have takes too, and all of yours have yeah. strong takes. Such a strong but the yeah. thing is, like. Like I see people like Maya Rudolph. I don't think is a good impressionist, sure. but she always has the funniest. The like her Beyonce. <laughs> her Beyonce is like you know it's a fine Beyonce. But for example, we were watching her do Omarosa from way back. Oh my god! And it was she not... did Omarosa. Yes, she did Omarosa. Wait, that's par problem problematic. Am I wrong? Oh, no. Wait, is I Maya mean, Rudolph half black? Yes, she, she is. is. Oh, black. Okay. well, yep. But the thing is, it was like it was. She did. She did Maya Rudolph and. She spoke in a voice that was like this. It was mid Atlantic, and it, mid -Atlantic, was, and it yeah. was so, she does so off the mark. Where is yeah. Donald Trump? She I does must a lot speak of mid Atlantic. <laughs> yeah. Her mid Atlantic stuff is hilarious. It's so, so funny. funny. She's and I mean, so funny. You you don't care that it's not a good <laughs> yeah. Omarosa because yeah. it was it's so funny. It's, so like, but like I remember. I, in my JFL set, I had a Channing Tatum, and it's not a good Channing Tatum. Oh but Did like, you dance? It is good. I danced a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, game yeah, was yeah. that he's like, cripplingly insecure. Yeah, <laughs> but like and he's, and, he's mad that no one saw Jupiter ascending. No, he's furious <laughs> that no one saw Jupiter ascending, and is very upset that people like him for his body and not his acting. But that like, I it's actually like, think he's a really good actor. He's actually very good. He's good, actor. Really good. He's he's wrapped in honey. He's dropped right in. Honey. He's oh. Adler. <laughs> um, no, but like the thing is like, it's like for people that cannot do impressions like myself, but can do original characters, it's like, you gotta just like make sure you cover it up with like a fucking take because I know. we. I mean, I see people like you and people that can do impressions, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, that's like a whole other fucking ball game. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's so it's so. But you, you your way you're talking about it is like you do have to go about it the same way. Yeah, you just wa you watch it a lot. Yeah, and like sometimes they're really bad until they're good. There you that's go. what it is. You just break yeah. through the bad until yeah. it gets good. But then like the thing about Chloe is that she also just has like a good observational lens yeah. in general, like. Steering wheel acting, I think, oh, is so oh, that's funny. the best. Thank you. So good, thank you. So good. You're the queen of steering wheel acting. Thank you. you do it better than who? Who was? Who, <laughs> who, who does steering wheel acting for real? Uh, well, okay, so it's Who's it and honestly, the it started with the net in Benning, American Beauty. Benning, yes. Yes. Yeah, there's like yes. five accounts of it. Right, and then. Um, they do it in Big Little Lies a lot. Oh, they do yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. favorite. That's when I just I want more. Yeah, that's my favorite scene, and that's yeah. when Nicole Kidman's like, <laughs> and yeah. she does her like Stop. this thing. Yeah, like, yeah. No, the hand fine. pause. Yeah. The, that's steering wheel, <laughs> and then Elizabeth Moss did it in <gasps> Handmaid's Tale. Yes. so much. She does it like four times. Yeah, and that's this like she has the wheel and she's like fuck, fuck. Yes, fuck. <laughs> It's so good. And there's it's so good. There's so just something. Powerful. It's so powerful, and it's how you win awards. Like I yep. really feel like yeah. it's gonna get her. Another, might get her another Emmy. I want it to yeah. go to Sandra Oh. But I, we were talking about this. Me too. I, I, I think it could, it could go to Sandra, and then oh, one other person. I mean, Who? Elizabeth Moss's performance is so undeniable. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. it's like, it, it but might she doesn't be, talk. Like, well, sure. it might Sandra be one oh of those things with though. diet, like the stuff, the way Sandra Oh makes words come out of her. Oh, you know, I know that sounds really. But no, her, no, she's a prophet. She. The the way like I would never make those words come out. Yeah, like they're so authentic and emotional. It's brand and, new every time. When I when, yeah. when I did the Sandro lip sync, I was like, wow. I know, I know, and I doing, noticed it when you did that. She's doing. She's making a lot. Like so many micro choices. Yeah, she's like, and the way that you felt. felt yeah, 
something and then yeah, like yeah the, yeah yeah the s's yeah. it's so delicious and then yeah. and then the end and that will, will never, never happen, happen again. again and also it's just like you read you look at just the words and you think wow if i got this as an actor like what it would, I would I do be with that? so no, different right? and so much worse because so this much is, worse it's just like oh yeah, she's yeah. a fucking she champion. uses Dynamo. words yeah words yeah. are like played with I gotta yeah. look. I gotta look up the other nominees because I feel like this, if it's not Elizabeth and if it's not Sandra, then it's someone else. I mean, nominations. Oh. Anyway, I don't know. It's a great year though. There's a lot of steering wheel acting in Sharp Objects, but I find that show hard to. I didn't hard to watch because it's a little cutting. triggering. It's, yeah. Well, it's like I would watch it eating breakfast and then mm. be like, who? <laughs> <laughs> it's That's not good. One. It's slow. And I yeah. love Amy Adams. I do. I do too. I, I'm obsessed with her. I do too. Uh, but yeah. not that much in this. It's so. a, it's a tough one for me too. It's, it's it's tough. Yeah. Um, what do we got? Claire Foy, I think, because it's it's her last. She's outstanding. Season. It's her last season as as Elizabeth. They're talking about Miss Claire Foy for the supporting actress Oscar. First man. The first reviews of first oh, man. Just, well, because now Chazelle. Venice is happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so now we have all the first reviews of the big Oscar movies. So first man got reviews. Yeah. Some people are raving, some people not. Mm. Star is born. The reviews have come out, and they're really? all very positive. Yes, yes, really? Yes, yeah, they're yes, saying it's yes. actually <gasps> a, a slay and a half. Really? Yeah. Oh, gotta work on that Lady Gaga. You work must on the, you work have on the Lady to. Gaga. Oh, you have to. Um, first of all, she's giving you so much material just in that co- in that scene alone when he's like, "I just want to take another look, look at you." you. That <laughs> face. <laughs> There was so much material in her Netflix special. Oh, oh she's yeah. giving you material yeah. for I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and then so what good. else? You know what movie I heard is good? Hmm. There's a movie coming out with Rachel Weiss, Emma Stone, and Olivia yeah. Coleman called The Favorite. Oh, which is that a, looks really good. With the, it's the same lobster guy, Yorgos Lanthimos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, a, it's like o- a, Olivia Coleman's in it. Olivia Coleman plays like a queen. Great. Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, Emma Stone, pl- and I guess Rachel Weiss is like just under her. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Ra- uh, Emma Stone plays like the new uh, servant that they hire, okay. or right. something like that. Like some someone new to like this estate. Gorgeous. And it's like a comedy, like a like sort of a comedy of manners. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um and rave reviews and they're wow. saying that Emma Stone is phenomenal in it. She's good. She's good. good. She's really good. I, I think Stone. she's really talented. She is very, she's very, and she talented. seems like a good. And she's a good person. Yeah, she seems like a good person. Yeah, no, for like from people who like whatever peripherally know her, that everyone's just like, yeah, she's, she's like a solid human being. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I feel, don't they call her like Emmy or I don't. Em, Emmy, Emmy, um, Ma, Emily, Ma, Emily. Um, Chloe, I think we should ask you the question we ask all of our guests. I think we yes. gotta ask this question. And I, this, and you, and we like screened this for you earlier. And you, I know. And let's see if I say the same. And thing. you were self conscious, but I believe you I should. Think this is a great <laughs> choice. Oh, right, right, okay, 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 so um, and you can change your answer if you want. Oh no, I'll stick to the. Okay, average. cool. Uh, th- Chloe, what is the culture that made you say culture is for me? That like, defining pop culture that made you say, "Wow, I might be forming into a person due to this." The miseducation of Lauren Hill. I love. Wow, this <laughs> and uh, I love this answer. just celebrated its. 20th anniversary mm-hmm. which is insane insane that's insane okay so then what are you okay so then let's let's dive into this so i'm from berkeley yeah and um th- like white people don't Love. listen to white people uh, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and i was just like i, I as a i've always been the person where they're like you have more phases than the moon <laughs> but the miseducation i was like no no this is me yeah. and i was wearing and i started wearing like rastafarian things. oh my god <laughs> it was so i was just like You're little so misappropriate i just was appropriating everything i possibly sure, could sure, sure. Yeah. but like really felt it like smoked weed for the first time ah oh. but um, it all came from this earnest place not yeah, to, not like, to say that yeah. of like womanhood and yeah. hip hop yeah yeah and i had it was like the first time i really had a crush on somebody wow yeah andrew that's, gk that's a good one. yeah it was like yeah it was associated with like i'm going to listen to this music and yeah. like flirt with this guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was yeah. it was it was that music that kicked in just as you were kind of becoming a person yeah yeah, right. yeah, I yeah totally yeah. that was me for me mariah black street was like around that same time yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. wow 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 um was it like was was it fuji's leading into oh yeah yeah, okay, and yeah, it. when I bought the Fujis out, it was like yeah, yeah, all yeah. at that same time, wow. especially the Fujis. Wow, I mean that album. I mean, yeah, they're the best. But there's <laughs> something is still still to this day like when, um, oh my God, do up that thing comes on, you're like, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is this is unique. You'll so never hear it you'll again. You'll never hear it again. Yeah. It's... Although I I really like hip hop right now, this new like lady hip hop that's lady coming hip-hop. through. Do you know Tierra Wack? You gotta check her out. She just can't. She just because I know you like Jungle Pussy because I see you love best. Jungle Pussy and I deeply love you for that. Jungle Pussy, yeah. There's some like hints of Lauren Hill, like, a little some bit, in, some influence yeah. of Lauren, yeah. Um, but you, you, y'all should check out Tierra Wax. She's this like 25 year old girl from Philly. She's wait, I great. think I was just listening. Did she do a thing with Kanye? She, I don't know if she did do a thing. With, she, I, like, I think she's 
Um, like Wait, I someone she like like people like people like people love her like pe- like all like the hip hop like higher ups like oh see that's when you know that's when you know but like yeah. she so she basically put out this um visual album and all of the all the tracks are a minute long and it's fifteen oh. songs so it's a fifteen minute visual album oh cool and you listen to it in fifteen minutes and it's all like wonderful little like vignettes little of, vignettes. Oh. of melodies and you're like oh these are all really good that's a cool way to do it yeah. over here I was listening to Tiana Taylor oh, oh Tiana's great my, co- my co-star in the after party wait what she's in the after party really yes, bitch. I'm obsessed I have oh my two god. scenes in this Netflix movie and really she's, like in she's in it, in it? Yeah. oh my god I was just walking past the brick like. Living, yes. like, oh my god, she's yeah. amazing. Yeah, oh people are really into her. She's Everyone really, was super really, really excited good. when they found out she was going to be in the movie. You really? listen to work this pussy, right? No, Love bitch, uh, you're uh, gonna pop your genitals. Bussy. I'm gonna pop my bussy. You're gonna pop your bussy to work this. She pussy. came up because I was listening to City Girls, and on do you know City Girls? No, they wow. have this song called Period. It's like the best wow. song I've ever heard. Yes, the women are coming back. Yes, they are. I mean, like, yeah. and it's not this thing where it's like, oh, there are no female MCs. No, no, no they're, they're here, here, and they're yeah, yeah, huge. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, I feel like Lizzo. It's like Lizzo. Lizzo. Lizzo yeah, yeah, yeah. They should just queen. have a concert where it's all. It's just like Lizzo Fuck. and Princess Nokia and Jungle Pussy. Okay, Princess Nokia. People are like turning on her. Everyone's turning on her Why? because What's she did on? that alternative album. Oh, is that s- sort of the way it goes? Like, she's what? Well, you're not allowed to do anything I different. I think they were, but I love her. I think she's. I think she's very talented. People are turning on. Doja Cat now. Yes. Because yes, she tweeted yes. this thing out of nowhere mm. where she was like, What did she say? She was like, um, am I did, am I homophobic if I use the word faggot when I was in high school? I would just call people faggot. Ugh. Faggot, faggot, faggot. She's playing an Azalea thing. She's that. doing an Azalea thing. Although Azalea, how do you feel about Azalea? Because I feel like she's one of those people I where I love Azalea Bang. Sorry. I kind of love Azalea because Sorry. Her talent sort of transcends yeah. the insanity. Yeah. And like her, her, being, like her whole thing with Elon Musk, I cannot believe it's so fucking it's funny. It's so, so fucking, fucking funny. funny. The fact that she called Grimes a Pabst beer pussy <laughs> is genius. Genius. <laughs> if we, if we all <laughs> knew, if we all knew Azalea Banks, she would leave rooms and we would say that bitch is so crazy but so funny. Like okay, she, mm-hmm, Matt yeah. and I like w- pulled up the video where she called that flight attendant a faggot, and it's <laughs> hilarious. Well, first of all, we have to say something. That flight attendant was a faggot. Stop. <laughs> Like, no, I'm sorry, no, but no, like, no. No. come for me. No, uh, I'm a faggot too. But can, and we're gonna, I just wanna repeat the way she says it, cause okay. it's. Fuck it, faggot! No, she goes, no, it's not that. She goes, <laughs> it's deeper. It's like she drops, like the, the draw is more slack. Yeah, she okay, goes, sure. fucking faggot. Yeah, she says it from her soul. But the thing is, like, it's insane. Here's the thing, here's the thing. <laughs> fucking faggot. Let's, 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 let's paint a picture in our heads of what this is. Yeah, yeah. We hear about the way that these some of these flight attendants treat people. Oh, we hear about fucking yeah. racism. We hear yeah. about yeah, misogyny. Sure, 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 You're sure. going to tell me Azalea Banks being who she is. So I was seated on her plane. Maybe she was being a little extra. That doesn't mean you fucking not. Block, not don't let, let her off the you're plane. You're right, her on the you're plane right. And you're right, not yeah. letting her have her bag. No, totally. Like, that yeah. flight attendant she, was, was yeah. not. Look, she shouldn't have said it. Yeah. But also, at the end of the day, like, what the hell? Why are you abusing her? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Just, just get, let her get off the plane. Then sure, we don't have to sure. deal with it yeah. at all. Um, this is all to say, Treasure Island, this track that she came out with like a month ago, yes. is so good. It's so good. That's the thing. Her music is so good. It's her so music good. is crazy good. It's so it's good. Crazy and good. what's you going to do? Like, good. you're going to be mad at her for speaking truth to power? No. Wait, I have to, I'm sorry. I have to read, I think, my favorite tweet of all time. Um... I, I just I'm sorry I'm sorry I am I a problematic fave for saying that no I no, not I, at we, all. We also, <laughs> no, no I also I, I used to see her in downtown LA a lot oh yeah we well, yeah just like and she'd be Chilling. eating eggs at the Ace Hotel <laughs> I, why I was at the Ace Hotel in downtown LA I don't know I like weird I lived cool. down I lived down there and I thought that I would have this life where I like I get up and I go like, to the hotel, work go at the, the Ace, Ace hotel. hotel yeah people do it here all I the time I used to do it in New York yeah. all the time yeah, that's where yeah, yeah. like that because it's right by Adler right so I thought I would live Ace that Ace Hotel is, is where we watch Drag Race yeah yeah, well, yeah. When, yeah. When, 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 now that it's on Thursdays we can't when it's they not have packed in those couches it's gorgeous and it's cozy and it's productive and it's a great place for a little nightcap yeah she'd always have these eggs and these crazy nails and I'd like see her and she'd like look up and I'd like be like, I love you. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just freak Just, out. I mean, her music is no joke. Can I just no read joke. this? My my favorite tweet of all time. I think I Jace. wrote this to you. Jace. This was um this was back in this was right after Anna Winter came out. So this is recent. She goes, <laughs> and this was right after Nicki Minaj wore a mermaid tail in a music video, and then Azalea freaked out. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. people are oh, copying right, me, right, right, all this right, right. stuff. Well, she's not. So I mean, sure. As she goes, LOL, female rap is a mess today, yet I'm still the most original, talented, and the most skinny, all caps, 
<laughs> drinking, <laughs> drinking my skinny watermelon teeny, staring ah! from the kitchen window as I watch the raccoons scrounge for art in my garbage bins. Oh my God. Like, that's an artful tweet. That's, come on, that's yeah, amazing. It's, it's amazing. She's amazing. Although well, Jungle, Jungle Pussy's pretty skinny. Jungle Pussy's great. Yeah. Jungle Pussy's amazing. I think, um... She has these great... She had this whole thing about how to make, sh like, a skin potion. Uh, I like her because she's, like, healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's, like, a healthy... She's a healthy rapper yeah. about, like, she butter and <laughs> lemongrass. She, 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 love... She'll give you lifestyle tips. Yeah, I took her lifestyle tips. Do you... Wait, did you... Have you listened to Kaylee 47? No. Oh, oh, yes, of course. Yeah, 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 oh my yeah, God, yeah, 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 yeah. So good, so oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, there's a new one, Handbags. Oh, I haven't listened to that. Oh, that's really good. Oh, my God. Oh, like, yeah, Kaylee all the time, great. all the time. She's amazing. That's my. F I listen to it when I like get on a plane. Yes. And I feel no fear. That's great plane music. So hip hop yeah. is your genre. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we'll it started with the miseducation of. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. Because my mom was like, "You can play this. I like this." Oh. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. Mama approved. Yeah. Mama approved. So I could listen to it all the time in the car. Yeah. It's an incredible album. Definitely. X Factor, Duop. Yeah. Um. God. Uh, the, Still one of the most successful albums of all time. Sure. Yeah. And, and even um sure. that bonus track uh the. You're, uh, you're just too good to be true. Yeah, whatever it is. And oh. It came out like when Cheryl Crow CDs were coming out, yeah. so it just felt like there was not that space filled. You're no, right. It was Lilith Fair. Yeah, it was. It was so, Lilith yeah. Fair. It was, it was, it was Sarah Fair McLaughlin. Time. Yeah, Cheryl Crow. Well, you had like Lilith Fair happening, and then you had like pop divas happening. Yeah, right. and then you had Lauren Hill because that sure. was yeah, also that's like so true. God, that yeah. was true. also yeah. it was Lilith Fair. It was you. You were either a woman. You had a guitar. Yeah, mm -hmm. or you had a big big voice where you riffed the house down. Right. Right. Or you were a pop princess. Yeah. And then there was like this space. And I think like just even Lauren Hill like singing and also rapping was like, oh, wait, let's pivot and look, sure, at, sure, let's, sure. Let's look yeah. at this too. And then like it's true. Like there is this like world of hip hop that I feel was exposed. Yeah. Right. God. I mean, speaking of, I mean, one like, of the best singers ever too. Totally. Yeah. Like, like Lauren is this other like very mystifying figure where it's like, you don't really know what to make of her because there just seem to be all of these prickly things that right. have happened in like her career. Like she came to Oakland, I remember, and didn't perform like didn't perform yeah. a concert because there was too many white people. Oh yeah, sure. I, I've but heard I like the... respect. I don't know. I kind of yeah. respect classically that. always late. Yeah. Um I've heard that she's not the most pleasant person. Yeah, but um, when you have when you have that talent, it's like it's, it's so hard. She, to what did negotiate. she? She did a cover not too long, like a year ago, that was on Facebook. Oh, uh huh, uh huh. I oh yeah, yeah, it. It yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like an she, event. Yeah, an event where she f performed for the right, first time in a right, while, and right. I, I mean, it's chills. Like her yeah. voice is insane. You put up with people's bullshit when you know you're gonna get a certain. Oh, result. I agree. Yeah. I agree. You just do. Yeah, yeah. I, right. But it's like there's no like mathematical way to like. Figure that it's out. like Aretha Franklin saying, "Hi, there can be no air conditioning." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'm, turn the air conditioning off because but she's it's right Franklin. when the queen rolls yeah, through. Yeah, but she's yeah. absolutely sure. right. With yeah. with Lauren Hill though. Oh, I just want to. <laughs> I used to do this joke when like the um, the, the handful of times I would do stand up, I, that I do it. Um, but I talk about going to, to this Beyonce concert with Britney. You, know, you remember? Brit Hi, Britney Holloway Brown, if you're listening. Um, oh yeah, I remember when you went to. But I'll, I'll I'll be like um, I'll be like I am. I'll be like. Yeah, so Britney came with me, and Britney is like the Lauren Hill of being late to things, and I am the, I am the Lauren Hill of hating white people. I thought that was a fun joke. <laughs> that's but, really but funny. But then it, it would like be, get such a mixed reaction. Really? Oh, I yeah. think that's hilarious. Anyway, um, but Lauren is yeah. So Lauren, I feel like what what just came out recently? Someone, some producer, someone on Miseducation, or some close collaborator of hers like called her out in this essay and was like, he, she's like, I don't know, she doesn't have good shit. relationships with people. I I, I think because yeah. she's not, you know, she's a tough person to deal with. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of money tied up in that album too is a thing. Totally, and like really, I feel yeah. like if if all is right in the world, like we get one more like piece of great work out of her. That's not what that, I'm hoping. Not that for. we're like demanding things, but like it's just I I would want that. Yeah, you know? it's in there. It yeah. is crazy because even there. even like really it's nuts that really from her it was like her work with the Fugees and then that album and then there's really hasn't been well, I mean nothing. It's yeah. like other people that put out like iconic pieces of work, like they've followed up. Like you know what I mean? Right, like right, there's right. Alanis Morissette there's Jagged Little Pill. Yeah. And then it's almost like you don't even remember anything else, but there are other albums. Right. You know right. Christmas I mean? albums. Yeah. Christmas <laughs> albums. Oh my God. Lauren Hill should release a Christmas know, album. Yeah. She really should. Yeah, we need the she had an record. acoustic album that came out. Really? And, and she did an MTV Unplugged acoustic. <gasps> and it's beautiful. Like, it's just beautiful. Oh, I live for that. Yeah. Love that. 
fucking I also live for her performance in fucking Sister Act 2 yes. back in the house. Yes. 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 And Shirley Lee Ralph was the mother. Yes. I'm so proud of her. She's just so <laughs> iconic and like her fashion at the time. She's yeah. so mm-hmm. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those music videos are like timeless. Yes. Even now, even when she like did that little video where she like did an acoustic cover of doo-wop. Mm-hmm. Like she just wore this giant brimmed hat and looked incredible. Incredible. Yeah, I love it. Like, you have not aged. I no. also heard that in concert, she rarely does the same arrangement twice. Like she's <gasps> always like rearranging things. Like she's, she's like, it has to be different. It has to be like her instincts must be followed at all times. And like her band is good enough to like change. <sighs> wow. Like because she has, of course, the best and the best working for her. She's a musical probably genius. If someone, if yeah. Probably if someone were not perfect, she could just look, fill them a look and they'd be gone. Well, that's the thing. Okay, you know what? This is the thing that like is solidifying all this for me is that she is a musical genius. Yeah. yeah. And like you can't, and that is the thing that you weigh against all the other behavioral stuff. Virtuosique. Yeah. Virtuosica. Yeah. Yeah. And anyway. the, I think the issue is that like a lot of people will have that behavior but without the talent. Sure. To totally. Back totally. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. like, yeah. yeah. And they, st- and, and people put up with even them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is it as, Popular in comedy, like yes, in the Lady Gaga Netflix thing where she's like getting massaged yes. every other take, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, 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 and like weeping with her soul, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like I'm like, are you in that much pain? Yeah, That's yeah. Like, and honestly, I, I want choose one of those massage. I guess I choose to believe that she actually is because like, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. What does that mean? It was, yeah. yeah, it was a like, lot. She's, what she's like a ranting, raving crazy. I would just, I mean, just to weep all day and just have somebody like, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and, like, like just working your, and there's like four. Like sometimes I'm sure she has like three masseuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And she's just like slowly weeping. I mean, that was so Wait, iconic Chloe, for me. Chloe, that's the take though for you. I know. If you I, were so like, do I, one? I did, and then and then I feel like the time went too far. Oh sure. Maybe I'll just bring it back. I may, that's I have like a lot of impressions that are like not relevant. But I kind of want to just right. put those on. But I think like that they're good moment. enough sometimes yeah. it doesn't really matter. Like, I, I think no. people so. do like to see like a good impression even if it comes That's out of nowhere. That's what I like, did with the yes, steering yes. wheel Annette thing. I was yes. like, this is a 20 year old movie, but like. <laughs> yeah, I have a Bill Paxton that I love. Yeah, <laughs> but it's so not good. relevant. Oh. But but and I was, I've was i been talked out of putting it in my like submissions and reels and stuff it's like so that. It's so good. But, but the thing is like, I see it fucking these straight guys doing these, these fucking throwback impressions and no one cares. They do it all. All of the time. All the time. time. Straight men, oh. I, where's their brain? I don't know. That's it's, all, I see it all, I see it in stand-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, what are your, you're talking about Caddyshack still? No, like, I know, I know. That's the thing. It's just, like, it's just interesting to me because it's like, oh man, like I, if I, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. the mm. bar's different. Oh babe, like, it's a different bar. Do it. Like yeah, I, do I it. had to fucking pull a Michiko Kakutani impression out my ass. <laughs> Who cares what the references are? Right. Yeah. I mean, look, as long as it's good, it's good. I, that's yeah, the thing I think that's that really better, matters. Rather yeah, yeah, than yeah. timely. I've done some bad timely stuff. There you go. Yeah, when because you feel like you have to. You have to rather than do something like of the past. Right, 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 right. 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 I mean, yeah. look, oh, I'm going to whip out all my Star Wars. You have no idea how good this Bill Paxton is. <laughs> <laughs> and then he passed good... away and it was like, oh, no. I know. <laughs> but it's a very good Bill Paxton. It was Paxton. based on the Twister attraction at Universal Studios. <laughs> oh, my God. So he's in the in the Twister or attraction pre-show or Dilly Departed that ride no longer exists I know. But he, oh. he just is standing there in the craziest stance <laughs> just talking about how a twister is the worst thing you can go through and laugh it's got the force of a he's just like yeah, yeah, truly yeah. and the way his body is positioned it's the funniest right? wooden performance ever of anyone I talked about it on podcast the ride oh, coming to forever dog network mm. a new Ooh. acquisition mm. it's a really good podcast I'll give it a plug it's a really good podcast where every single time they have a different guest on, they talk about a different theme park attraction. Yeah. And I'm a theme park bitch. Oh, yes. you are? Yes. I am. Yes. Do you fuck with Coney Island then? I fuck deeply with Coney Island. I'm really? jealous of you because you're going there today. You're going yeah. there right after this. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. great. That's I beautiful. fuck deeply with it. I've done the Cyclone a couple times. <laughs> really? I've, I'm scared. I think I might go tonight. Do it. You got to do Just it. Just one ride. Yeah, just do, do, do the cyclone. Feel I'll your Beyonce XO fantasy and just yeah. do all of it. That's this. one reason to do just it. Just when they go upside down. Oh yeah. no no! Cyclone doesn't go upside. Cyclone oh. is wood and it's it's all. Oh, upright. I like the old like you could die one. Yeah, oh. you might die on it. <laughs> you might okay. die. You might. But the but thing uh, is, it is to fun. die on an iconic coaster. I mean, that's so, <laughs> such an iconic yes. coaster. <laughs> be amazing. Yeah. An amazing death. <laughs> I hope that one day I'm on it and it just flies off the tracks and I go, "You love me like EXO! and I like <laughs> deeply die, like, d- go right into the ocean, and I'm like. <laughs> and so turn the lights out. And then you die, die in a ball of fire. And I die like Beyonce. Um, Chloe, <laughs> I am just wait, this sounds so obnoxious. Okay. Uh oh, here we the, fucking no, go. No, no, no. Yeah. The, the day that someone does the Chloe Feynman impression, <laughs> what happens then? That that is that's like, a snake eating its own tail. I, <laughs> I in Groundlings, they'd always do these things where they'd like teach 
characters or impressions and they'd be like, let's do someone in the class. Uh, and they yeah, would always whatever. be like, Droov, like do Chloe. Yeah, and it's yeah, always yeah. somebody going like this. Or saying uh, something. Yeah. No. I don't know what the impression would be. I think an impression of me would be so insulting. No. It'd, it'd be, be someone like, screaming. It'd be what you literally just did. Like, <laughs> na, 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 na. See what I mean? Can I do... Can I <laughs> Please do an impression. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Do an impression. I was going to do an impression of you, but can I ask a stupid question? Always. Where... Would it make sense if you were to ever do an impression of yourself? That's so stupid. I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't work. It doesn't no, work that way. I mean, way. I know that like... Uh, forever I like in school I, I was they were always like stop smiling while you talk Northern California what? like because we kind of like talk like this and I don't know I talk out of the side of my mouth a lot like that was yeah, just yeah, how yeah. I grew up talking yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> it would probably be like she's being inappropriate and her dad's mad you know yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could do an impression of Bowen Yang just because I'm around you too much I'm around you too much to ever do one of you Really? It's 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 the closeness. We don't have the critical distance. I don't have anyone call me out. I, I would appreciate oh, it. Yeah, I, or out? like I always make fun of my friends and do impressions. Oh of god, them. I got it. I don't it, feel like it. I've ever had. Well, because Chloe, like you, like I've seen you answer questions, like yes or no questions, with like sounds and like physicalities, and like <laughs> like you're like. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, see, it is not like, <laughs> but like, but, but like, you know, I'm saying like that's not me doing an impression of you, but I'm saying that's you like going to that place defaultly sound, in your mind sounding. which is like tr so inspired and like <laughs> oh like that's like that's where it all comes from is like thinking in those terms of like yeah it's just very like it's just like chloe being like animated. yeah it was very oh. yeah yeah oh, <laughs> animated yeah because yeah, yeah, i'd yeah. say i'm animated it was weird yeah. too because like melissa v did a jenny slate impression on instagram oh, yeah. uh -huh. jenny didn't like it Jenny she didn't like she didn't no. smash the, maybe she will smash the like button but i was uh -huh. just like oh that's so interesting to like do s someone like I don't know, Jenny Slate's like yeah, so yeah. Iconic, yeah. iconic, but yeah, to do another yeah, yeah, comic yeah. is like is, is interesting. I found that interesting. It's she also close. yeah, Melissa does and Whitney Cummins. She's really good. She's so yeah. good. And, yeah. and Sarah Silverman, she does com comedian impressions. She does it very. Yeah, she does Sarah Silverman. Cool. Well, those are all really easy. I mean, Sarah Silverman. I feel like that's like she has a state of manner of being, which is like you like it's like kind of Jim Carrey. The, the take is you know what I mean. Yeah, like, Jim Carrey, are, yeah. it's like, and he does so many like iconic things. That's why I don't do Amy Schumer. Right. But also because I saw someone do it online. I think she's friends with you guys. She's in New York. She did an Amy Schumer that was like oh, flawless really and when someone does that i don't touch it like chelsea davidson's lena dunham i was like oh I'm, yeah yeah, I'm yeah. Never no one lena can dunham. do lena dunham that's no. I mean, yeah. that's very cool that like you have such respect for that to like yeah. not want to go to yeah. like, go near it that's why wow. no one does that's why no one does a paxton <laughs> that's why no one does <laughs> i fucking crushed a paxton yeah. it is on my old character reel which is on right. youtube wow yeah. wow wow yeah i mean Maybe that'll change, but for now, it's definitely like, oh, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's wonderful. That is like the platonic there. ideal for the craft of just having that respect for other people. Yeah. Sacred bitch. Sacred bitch. Sacred. Sacred. I think it's time. I think it's time. Okay. For, I, don't I don't think so, I don't honey. Think so, honey. Yes. Oh, oh did my you God. not remember? I did we never do? Put, put it all together, but now we're here. Don't worry. Okay. Now, now we're here. here. We'll go first. Oh, so, so okay. You have some time good. to think. Okay, great, great. Um, or if you uh, cannot think of something, we, we can draw from the troll. Oh, right. For you. Okay, I great, actually great, have great. A, a good one. Okay, okay. you do. Yeah. So this is Matt Rogers' I Don't Think So Honey. His time starts now. I don't think so, honey. Starbucks, when you say pumpkin spice is back, have the ingredients ready to make pumpkin oh. spice. <laughs> because let me tell you something when you say pumpkin spice is back, guess who's going to be the first fucking person in line, honey? Me, the bitch. <laughs> and when I step <laughs> up and order pumpkin spice in a venti frappuccino, Form, Ooh. and then I have to wait 20 minutes for it, honey. Oh. I'm not a happy customer. <laughs> and I don't think so, honey, when I have a fucking full conversation with the employee and we both say how excited we are about pumpkin wow. spice and how, you know, we're not basic, we're seconds. just living our life because it's good. And then this same young woman is having a hard time finding the ingredients. Oh. It's like, honey, you posted it up on the chalkboard, you posted it up on the commercials. Let's get ready with the pumpkin spice. Oh my God. You had the Audacity 15 seconds to advertise everyone pumpkin spice and back. I'm gonna come. I'm here. So give me wow. pumpkin spice. I'm waiting, hon. And you know that Five I have, I'm busy, honey. It's New York. I need my pumpkin spice right now, honey. And that's one minute. <laughs> Gorgeous. I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna get me all up in tis about oh, yeah. pumpkin, do you like pumpkin spice? I, I don't. You know what? I'm I'm back on the cycle of liking it again. But I think I I I mean I think I should, and I'd be a win a more whimsical person. No, 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 don't worry. I don't think it. I should have gotten a venti. Yeah, <laughs> but I that's do a love. Lot. Yeah, that's it's like a so lot. much. I you know like what? I it was liked so much, it, and then you overdo it because it becomes like in everything. Totally. 
Uh, I wanted it. to make myself feel better after a stressful situation. Mm. And so then I went and got my pumpkin spice and I was like, oh, yes. And honestly, <laughs> you ne- here's the thing. It's actually a rule of culture. You never actually want a large. You ne- Say it with me. You, you never, never actually, actually want a large. large. You always want a medium, bitch. Yeah. You yeah. D- or a grande, if you will. You just, you <laughs> Goldilocks never, principle. you <laughs> never need that much volume or something. Yeah. I swear to God, we were in. Penn Station the other day, me and I um, swear to God you were. Yeah, w- w- was it? Was I with you? No. Oh, Who, I, I think I was with my sister. Okay, what'd you do? But oh, yeah, we, I was with my sister, and I went to go get um, a smoothie, and I was like, I'll have a large without looking at the sizes, and they were like, Are you sure you want a large? <laughs> and then I looked over, and I swear to God, the large was this big. They downsold. It was crazy. I was like, Oh my God, no! I want a small, which is like a fucking bucket. They right. downsold it. That's crazy. Because they never they, do that. Because even they were human beings and could tell that I wasn't going to finish this. But you guys, you never want a uh. large. You, you never, never want, want a large, a large uh. even if they tell you it's fifty cents more. Well, uh. and then they get you in the movie theaters too. They do. Do you want to make that a large for a dollar more? And you always go, I mean, yeah. No, it's a waste. It is. A oh, waste. I always say no. Are you a popcorn kind of kind of um, individual? Yeah, when I'm not like dieting. There you right. go. We always say, I actually have a rule of culture: popcorn doesn't count. Popcorn is, is air. air. Yeah. Okay. And I this is Bowen Yang's. I don't think so, honey. He thinks he has one. I think so. And his time starts now. I don't think so, honey. Anyone who has not seen the Teddy Perkins episode of Atlanta, I just saw it last night. And I <laughs> granted, I am four and a half months late. It is one of the best episodes of t- television I've ever seen in my life. It is so bizarre. It is so viscerally upsetting and funny and tragic. And I don't know. This is not the most interesting. I don't think so, honey. But I'm saying everyone has to watch this now. Even if you are not familiar with the show, although context does help. Um, Lakeith Stanfield turns out an amazing performance. What a beautiful actor, beautiful person. Hunky, hunka, hunka. I love Lakeith Stanfield. Look, love Lakeith. But he 30 is, seconds. He's like the kooky, crazy guy in, in the whole show. But like to see him play a straight man against Donald Glover in whiteface is truly stunning. Wow. I will never forget this episode of television. I have to go back and watch it. There's a... There's a scene with an ostrich egg. 15 seconds. I won't spoil it, but it is the most viscerally upsetting thing I've ever seen in my life, and I wanted to throw up. Alex, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen this? It's You have to watch it. It's so good. Everyone, Five seconds. Get thee to a funnery and watch ah. the Teddy Perkins episode and of And that's Atlanta. one minute. Lesson, I don't think so, honey, and more just a statement of appreciating and that's show. okay. And, and that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. And you know what? And that's okay. And that's okay. It's that's whatever okay. you want to make it. I haven't seen that episode, so that was an I don't think so, honey, on me. Oh, you need you, you have you watched any of Atlanta? You have I, it, it's on my list. Yeah, y- you would fucking stand for Zazie Beats. You I'm would. I'm sure I would. Oh, she's fabulous. Mm. Do you watch Wonderful. Atlanta? I have a crush on Donald Glover. Yeah, yeah. you should. You should watch should it. Watch He's it. so you good. Run to watch it. He 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 is in whiteface. He plays this eccentric billionaire <gasps> oh my type god. of person. Oh my god. He's incredible wow it's it's truly insane this episode anyway Mm. so now we have someone to do an i don't think so honey that has previously subverted the form by doing her i don't think so honey on greta gerwig and as greta gerwig i know i can do it as another person i could do but i maybe i won't but listen we're gonna find out right now Mm. and this is chloe Feynman's I don't think so honey and her time starts now okay I don't think so honey white man who says he cannot get through Nanette oh! four guys be like I tried to watch it but like mm, I don't know I only lasted 30 minutes the whole point of oh. Nanette is the 30 minutes that come after your yes. fragile male yes. ego that cannot stand her wow first of all the first half is hilarious yeah there's teacups and saucers and <laughs> all sorts of jokes and the fact that you like can't even get past that yes. because everything has to be catered to you and your dick humor go uh. Fuck yeah, go yourself. Go, go fuck yourself. Seconds. The, the fact that you don't get it or you find her boring or it's like not... Get out of your fucking comfort zone. You're never going to yes, learn. Yes. Open your eyes and your ears. Yes, yes, I cannot absolutely. stand. I cannot stand. Because you don't find her attractive or something. That is, that is why. It's really why. You don't like gay seconds. jokes. Mm. You're never gonna. You're never gonna expand. You're never gonna be woke. And and Ugh. you can't mansplain Nanette to me, which is ultimately what you probably want to be it's able to do. It's point. funny because five seconds. It's funny because uh, 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 funny, funny, I just found it boring. Like I, just, I don't know. It's, I didn't really get it. And that's really God, get it. And you know fuck. what? A hundred percent. We've actually talked about this a bunch. But the thing is, like, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not. It, it is for you, just, they, and it's just not for you to explain. It's not for yes. you to explain. It yes. has, yeah, like two. I came, yeah, three guys since being in New York were like, yeah. Then impre- I tried to watch it. 
I don't God and like why bring that in? Can why, you just yeah, compliment like, your fucking impression and leave it there? It and also like the, it really gets good if you keep watching. Yeah, sure. I mean, but yeah. she's really a fine wine. That she, and that. She, yes, yeah. you're talk, you, you mentioned something that I think is very astute, which is the fact that you know because they can't and don't fuck her or, or like or yeah. they have no desire to do that because she's not for them or like she's not presenting herself sexually yeah. for them like there is a block there yeah it's such a thing and the thing about and there's even some backlash i think from even like weird places like i think like i've heard queer people be like i don't know or just people oh, yeah. be like well, is it comedy though it's like way 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 like you're not gonna you're not gonna be the one to like define the parameters of what this is I know. and if this is hurting the form. Are you no. kidding me? You no. You're gonna be the person who died and made you king. Like right. I don't understand these and, the backlash behind like the uh, sex like sex aside. Yeah. I don't I don't understand the backlash behind people saying, um, well, it's not comedy. But it absolutely the first thirty minutes, which I kept rewatching for the stupid impression, right. is hilarious. Yeah, it's so funny. Joke after joke after joke. But then she like brings it all back together towards the end where yeah, it's like, it's oh, this awesome. is like a masterfully done piece. But even yeah. if it weren't funny, even if it weren't funny in the way that like people need it to be, you cannot be the gatekeeper of someone going on a stage and performing art. Like that's yeah. just yeah. that's what this is, you guys. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. what we all do. You go up there, you get a reaction the way that you can. Yes. Right. And and if you don't understand that reaction or aren't giving that reaction the way other people are or couldn't get that reaction yeah. in that same yeah. way yeah. that doesn't mean it's bad or doesn't deserve a place God. it just means it's different and there should be more different kinds of art I think that's what's killing people yeah. Yeah. is that they don't see it in that narrow way that they've had to come up or they've told they were told is the way you succeed so yeah. it's like how could this yeah. person be succeeding I also way? am like really inspired by her, her thing to not self have to self deprecate absolutely yes. I never even thought yeah, about that I never thought about it until but she it's like true. it's so true it's true did you run into her a million times at JFL I saw her order something and yeah. I was scared I was genuinely like starstruck I was yeah. like we were in an env uh, envelope in an, we were in an elevator with her and we <gasps> didn't even I would have lost my I shit I was like I can't believe how I am not like that's leaping what's so out of my cool skin. about JFL yeah, yeah. Um, Tiffany great. Haddish came out of an elevator in a ball gown. Yeah, wow. <laughs> like, fainted. Jesus, I would have sparkly red freaked. ball gown. It was crazy to all it's be crazy. sharing the same space with people like that. It was yeah, like, wow, it's wow, so wow. so crazy. Yeah. Um, but just the fact that she was like treated poorly there, I just she really was. Oh, me. Well, oh, the, incessantly. oh, I did not hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, really? like, like stand ups out. Like she got heckled. What at the show that Lisa Trigger hosted? Gala. Her own gala. She got. She heckled. was heckled at her gala, and then she did by this, who? Some some random Whom? fucking what's that? Whom? 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 By whom? Mm. And a uh, fucking she, Lisa Trigger hosted this other show that she was on, and then the comic who went up after her was like, "Yeah, Hannah Gatsby hasn't said a fucking funny thing in her life." Like, ew, I can't like, and you're, and he's proving her whole fucking Heckle point. culture needs to end. I, coming, yeah. I've been Ugh. at three stand up shows this week here, yeah. and everyone is heckling. Ew, really? Yeah. I never the fuck see are they it. And I'm I think in it's because I'm not. I'm not in like my. I'm not in the bubble that I feel yeah, safe yeah, yeah. in. But these like straighty shows. Yeah. Heckling, heckle city. Yeah, I hate that. I hate they that, were heckling. Um, do you know Yadoya? Yeah, yeah. Yadoya. Yeah, Yadoya. Yadoya. I love him. He was hosting. Oh, Yadoya. Yeah, yeah. They were yeah. heckling him. Oh my god. And then this guy would heckle, and then this girl would turn around and high five him. Ew. Oh well, have fun going yeah. back to whatever. The I know, fuck and I really was like so tempted to just be like. Why don't you get on stage? Yeah, 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 yeah. sure, sure, yeah, sure. Classic yeah. thing. Yeah. Y Travis, like truly the most unimpeachable comedian out there. Like so, so likable. So, so great. And so great. So Let's say it hot. Very hot. Is hot. Shit. He's very so hot. hot. He knows I think he's hot because oh, one he, time, he's posted thirst traps where he's shirtless. Oh yeah. One time he's a I went up I went up after him oh, at a set God. and I my whole first minute of my set was how hot you know it was. He's so hot. <laughs> so hot. And he's just so the nicest hot. person. Yeah. I lingered after the show and was like, hey, yeah. How are you? I thought that was really good. Yeah. That was I'm, good. I'm was, just here for a little while. It was while. Just so obvious. Like, I'm hey. actually just here for a couple of days. Yeah. Um, how's New York? Cool. cool. Where do you live? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. He also has a tattoo um, that I, I shouldn't. Well, whatever. Yeah. He has a tattoo that I, he, I, he said was a wolf, but looks like a Shiba Inu. Oh. <laughs> That's a great conversation starter. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Oh, the, you know what? Talk about it at the wedding. Bring it up at the wedding. Yeah. Bring it up at the wedding. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Wow. What a fun episode. We love we love. This was and great. So, this is great. What, is there anything coming up for you? People can see you. You have like any um, shows coming up in the Lala? Um, no. Or follow her. Chloe is crazy. Yeah, uh, Chloe, or, it's or, all on the net. Or you're crazy for not. You're crazy for not following Chloe is crazy. Truly. How about that bitch? How about that bitch? Someone, <laughs> I, 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 we love you so much. I love you guys. Just I really do. Coming out. 
Listen, this is a love fest. This is a and, love fest. And that's what we love. That's what we love. That's what and we that love. actually leads into the song that is going to sing. We're going to sing and we're going to, you know, and end on the song. When, when you, you love, love, you love Chloe. Chloe. Oh. And that's um, a I song. think, okay, we need to start singing. <laughs> we can't do the Garth and Cat thing. I think we need to do. Can um, I tell you what I've been listening to a lot because our last episode was exclusively about her? What? what? Avril Lavigne. Avril, okay. Oh, really? so. Wait, and I really don't like Avril Lavigne, but Here I'm going to have to sing this song. Here we go. Did you think that I was going to give it up to you? Miss <laughs> Diane. Did you think that I was something I was going to do? And cry, I, I. don't try to tell me what to do. Don't try to tell me what to say. You're better off that way, yeah, yeah. This guilt trip that you put me on won't mess me up. I've done no wrong. I don't know the rest. I don't know the rest. And then it goes, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the chorus again. We love Avril. Well, that's the song we're closing out on this episode. We love you. We love Chloe. <laughs> uh, like, subscribe, listen, review. <laughs> and leave comments. Bye. Bye. Forever Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram 